Welcome to the Nursing Research Learning Series brought to you by the University of Texas at Arlington Libraries. I am your Health Sciences Librarian, Ray Jeffers, and I'm here to talk to you about topic number five, finding quantitative articles within your PICO search results. Just a recap for you um, on the last topic, our P for patient population was type two diabetics. Our I for intervention was exercise. I did not have a C, a comparison. And then the outcome we were gonna look at was blood sugar. So this screen is where we left off last time. Um, I've already done all of my PICO element keyword and subject heading searches. Um, I've combined those into um, individual uh, OR searches. And then I've combined those ORs together with AND. Um, so now we're going to see which of these 797 results are quantitative. So I'm going to click on View Results, and that will make sure that the results that populate below are actually the results that you wanted to look in. So, and they are. So then I'm going to go up and I'm going to clear my box out here. I'm going to create another subject heading and keyword search string just like I did before. Uh, I'm going to start with my keywords. So if you start typing the word quantitative, or oop, it helps if you spell it right, And you'll notice this very long string of terms populates, and this is the one you're going to want. So go ahead and select that long string of terms. It has related terms to quantitative research. These are um, words that appear in the uh, article that indicate whether or not this could be a quantitative article. So I'm going to click search. And let's send all search that. And if you notice, my uh, filters and limiters that I applied in my last one persisted here, so you don't have to redo those. Um, and we got 527,543 results there. Um, let's clear that box. Now let's go grab our subject heading term by clicking the Suggest Subject Terms button and typing in quantitative. And they're wanting you to use quantitative studies, but just to be sure, I'm going to go over to my scope note, my little sticky pad icon, and I'm going to read this and make sure that this is what I want, and it is. So I'm going to click quantitative studies, follow this line over, go up to search database. And sometimes CINAHL takes a minute to run these searches, so don't get frustrated. Um, so now you see we have our keyword search string and our subject headed, heading search string um, for quantitative. So we're going to clear that box out and we're going to combine these two things together. Um, again, that is because we're not sure if this 11,000 is already included in this 527,000 or not. Um, so we go ahead and we combine those with OR because we're searching uh, like terms. So let's search with OR. And it looks like those 11,648 were in fact in there in with the 527,000. But you, uh, again, as we've stated before, you don't really know how that's going to go. So it's better to just do both searches and combine them at the end. So I'm going to clear out my box now. I'm going to take my S11, which has all of my ands together. This was my final search before I searched my quantitative terms. So I'm going to select that, and then I'm going to select my OR statement from my quantitative terms. And then I'm going to click Search with AND because I want where these things overlap. 
I want to narrow my search down. So I'm going to click search with and and let's see what we get back. So we got 445 results which should be plenty to find uh, what you're needing to meet your assignment parameters. Let's clear this box out. Let's go down to view results. Click that. And let's go down and see how relevant these things are. So it's type 2 diabetes. Um, it looks like there are a randomized control trial here. So there are definitely terms that are highlighted that are relevant to um, what I've searched. So um, at this point, what you're going to want to do is read the abstract to see if this is a, an article that you want to open or not. Um, if you are looking for specific uh, terms, you can do a control F or command F on Mac, and that will give you um, a search box that you can search for specific terms within this page. Um, similarly, when you open an article, you can also do Control F or Command F on Mac and uh, populate a search box to search for keywords within the article as well. So that's how you find quantitative articles within your PICA search results. Um, stay tuned for my next video, which is going to help you troubleshoot your search results uh, and your search strategies um, if you still are having difficulties finding what you need. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you on the next topic.